Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and we are here in the city of Charleston, the wonderful city of Charleston in City Skylines. And as you can see, we can now unlock a new area. On top of that, we can see that for sure this is the edge of the map, and we can't go any further. We can go here, we can go here. It's just a matter of can we go there or or is it down here? And I suspect mostly because if we jump over that and flip the map around. Yeah. I'm thinking actually, yeah, there is resources here that the map goes this way. Don't think there's much in there. But I, yeah, this looks like the edge of the very edge of the map. And so yeah, most likely this is buildable. So what we can do is we can buy one of those two. We can also buy one of these three. I don't think I'm going to buy that, although build a bridge from here to here, then over to here to here. That's a possibility. That's a possibility, although that'd be kind of silly. I think in the real Charleston, there's a bridge from here to here, and then over to here to Mount Forest, Mount Pleasant. Something, I, I believe that's roughly the name, but yeah, that's not important because this is not actually the city of Charleston. Uh, so yeah, one, two, three, four, and then up there. So we are missing all of that. I'm suspecting anyway. So now I could grab this, and it looks like it has oil right there. Probably oil there. That looks like farming there. There's ore there. Although I am tempted to come out here, get this highway connection. Oh, that is a definite possibility. I could grab this one. It doesn't have much building space. I wouldn't be able to catch it on the highway. I'd have to bridge over. But I'd get the rest of Drum Island. That's another possibility. You know what? I think I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go here next. Or grab these three, possibly. <laughs> so many choices! So many choices. I want to wait to get this. And... Because I definitely want to get a highway connection here. I have that road. Don't really need anything over here. Yeah, I'm going for it. Let's do it, do it. Civil area for building, 42%. How about over here, 89%. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of water in here. This is 29%, so that has... That actually has... Yeah, okay, no. That has less uh, building space, obviously. I wouldn't really get much, actually. So, this is primarily for the highway connection. So, I am going to go get it. And that is Charleston. That has been expanded. Let's jump out and see what we get. So there are no resources as far as I can see. Yeah, there's farmland over there. It's fairly decent farmland actually. And yeah. Well, or there, or there. Or there. And yet yeah, that has been eaten out. This is uh, all but eaten out. It is somewhat disappointing the fact that they drain that quickly. Anyway, yeah, most of the ore in here is, yeah, we're not uh, extracting any ore at all. We got two hectares of fertile land used of 53 hectares. Yeah, 
Yep. That's nice and green. All right, so we jump into that view. And we have 32,281 people. It's taken, been taking a look at this, and mostly it is commercial traffic. Box trucks. And yeah, they are trying to get there. It is a convenient route into and over that area. I have this big six lane. That should hopefully provide enough uh, tra of our enough lanes to get to, to where people need to go. Although in here, they're not going to even bother to use the the inside lane, just because this probably actually should be. Grade. Right there. Yes, indeed. Alright, so that will allow them to use all six lanes. And it would be nice if you could actually see which lanes is which. So the middle lane goes straight. Right lane goes right. Another option I can consider actually is if the traffic is, wow, wow, where is our commercial? Our commercial is in here, in here, and it is over here. So a more convenient way to get the goods out to that commercial. This is a lot of just civilian traffic. It's a little bit of cargo. The only only thing is. They can't actually really return. So what I'm probably going to do, and this actually might help things out, highway ramp. Here. Go down. Nope. Something like that. Or no. So I go like that. Like that. <laughs> okay. Let's see how many people use it. And I believe it should hopefully be used. Especially for any uh, commercial traffic wanting to get back to the industrial area. And I really want to clean this place up. Oh, there is one. Let's see, do I have any lane traffic? It looks like there is pathfinding. And it looks like it most likely will be used. Yeah, I don't like that. It's all right. All right, so yeah, we have people starting to use it. And 
what I might just do is now that I got three lanes in this can I do it? that will that work nope no it won't Yeah. Right there. Awesome. Now it's just a matter of... Two-way road. One lane. Like that. And highway ramp. Stop too steep. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, let's uh, try this again. Highway. Take off snap to grid and something like right there. And yeah, I have to fix that. So I'm going to do that right now. Something like that. And... One way. That is a little bit better. Like that. Except I'm going to make it one lane. Highway ramp. Upgrade. And of course, this needs to be changed direction. Same with that. Alright. And, yep. Alright, so, that will provide one lane for right direction traffic, one for straight, one for turned. Turn traffic. This is fine. Oh, 
Ooh, what's happening there? Oh. We had some cars despawning, although it wouldn't make sense that they would be. We are going to set up lane control. not going to be able to turn either of those directions. Alright, so we got some more big buildings. <laughs> the big Trump Tower but it is by no means the tallest in the city and how are we doing for education we have 20 percent uneducated and we added a lot of people how's our death care 73 deceased, capacity of 420 for crematoriums. Yeah, we added a couple crematoriums just to provide a little bit of service. Cemetery usage, 6702. Six citizens, 11. Healing capacity is 2100. Average health is 75%. How are we doing for high school education? That's still... Yeah, 20%. That works out to be about six, 7,000 people. All right, How? what is wind? No, wind doesn't matter. Levels, we got a lot of level three commercial here. A lot of level two offices. We got a lot of level three residential. And some level ones over here with the level twos. Same over here, although level one into level two. Two and one. Yep, these are level threes. And these desperately need to be upgraded. That one's doing fine. That's level three. Overeducated workers, hopefully. Alright, so what do you need? What do you need to upgrade? Educate more citizens to allow the building to be upgraded. Uh, really? Make sure your education facilities can handle all potential students. Yeah, that's not what we're trying to do here. <laughs> We have plenty of education in the city. Yeah, these are all level three. Um, low land value. Broken dream. Isn't that an, a great name for a uh, house? The house of broken dreams. So why are you complaining about low land value? Is it possibly possible that you upgraded? You are level four. Everything else is. Okay, so. What I need to do is raise the land value in this area. I'm going to build a park in here. Large play playground. Nope. 
New Plaza, no. Small playground, yeah, that could work. And I'm going to put a path right here. Connect that up, and that is a one way. How is leisure over here? Thing is, leisure is all right. So it's just a matter of boosting the land value. So that's what we'll do. Parks. Small park. Oh, it's not small. It is not small. I will put it here, though. See, yep. It's been unzoned. Small park. Or is that a... Yeah, that is a small park. <laughs> I'm going to put in a park with trees, large playground... dog park Let's put a dog park in here and one more dog park right at the end that will boost the land value hopefully let's uh, put one in there One right there. A basketball court. Yeah, let's put the basketball court there. That is all right. One more, possibly. This is an industrial area, so what I'm going to do is find the plaza. Plaza with trees. Yep. Right here. I'll throw another one. Right over here. one right here maybe this will help them to uh, level up actually I'm gonna move that not the small playground plaza with trees yep right there Can I fit one in? Oh, yes, I can. Throw another one in there. And while we're at it, we might as well throw in some other things to provide some leisure. Actually, hmm. At this point, and yes, I am thinking of using the uh, these things here. Although that would mean... Ah, uh, no. Nah, nah. I would have to build a road. That wouldn't work. Alright, well, it was an idea. Although, actually, right along here, this would be a good place for them. Not really the piers that jut out, but I am going to have to... Yeah, that will be it for me today. We've uh, increased uh, land value, hopefully. 
Is that pe person still? Yeah, you're you're still complaining. I think you upgraded too quickly, and now it's just not enough for you. So you, sad to say, but you are going to be deleted. Anyway, that will be it for me today. And I, yeah, I really need to get an, an eight by eight park that'll fit right in there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to jump onto the workshop and find me a park, a nice one that will fit there. I know I could probably make something, but uh, yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh no. It has a problem with, was that crime? Crime rate is too high. Oh. What's the issue? Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. About that. This is, this could possibly want to be the, one of those issues. Especially with the custom buildings where the crime rate rate will just skyrocket. And if we go to city statistics, and if we go to, is there one for crime rate? Crime. There isn't. There isn't anything for crime rate that I can see. City treasury, budget, city value, taxation, population changes, influx, birth rate, death rate, employment percentage, available jobs, education level, students, tourists, tax, tourist tax income, happiness, residential zone, commercial, industrial. Yeah, there's nothing about crime rate. Nothing at all interesting so if we go into here that won't really give us much so we're not going to do that what i am going to do because where's my nearest the thing is i don't think there's anything i can really do to fix that it just has to resolve it on its own but, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of City Skylines in the city of Charleston. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and have a good day.